nobody out and there's no one up here. Stupid. Right, I'm going to clear up a couple of things I was talking about before. Well, one main thing really. I was talking about before I had some time off. I am back now. Um, I'm going to try and increase how many videos I'm making. But do you remember I was saying about how my gloves are in a, 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 yes, a state? Yeah, if you remember back, I was talking about getting new gloves. And I have been trying. I'm going to tell you a story of woe with j and &S. And the thing is, right, I used to love Hein Garrick. I got these from Hein Garrick for 80 coins in a sale. Fantastic. And they've lasted me for a very long time. They've had a crash and they're brilliant. I love them. So I want another pair of SP1s. These are Alpine Star SP1s. Well, I'm going to try and tell you the story as quickly as I can because it's long. So here we go. Ready? Went into j &S about two months ago looking for a pair of SP1s. They didn't have a pair of SP1s. Oh, that's annoying. I want a pair of SP1s. Well, that's a shame because you can't get SP1s anymore. Oh, but we do have a container load of, uh, of gloves from Alpine Star and all sorts of Alpine Star coming stuff coming in in about two weeks. Fantastic. I'll come on and look at the new range. Great. See you then. Four weeks later, I decided I'd, I'd give a bit of time because you know customs and stuff. I gave him a bit of time, went in a month later. Hey, so any news on these gloves or uh, any of this stuff? What are you talking about? The, 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 the big container load of stuff you said you were getting. Nope, yeah, don't know what you're talking about, mate. Oh, why? What are you after, mate? Well, you see, I was after a pair of SP1s. And the, when I came in a month ago, you said you couldn't get them anymore. Uh, but you had some new stuff coming in, so I could have a look at those. And they're like, Oh no, we could we could order SP ones. It's not a problem. Oh, I'm like, oh okay. Uh, well, can you order a pair? They're like, yeah, sure, no worries. Um, and they were great. They said, if we'll order them in, and if they're not quite right because they may have slightly changed the style since your ones, we'll uh, we'll put them on the shelf. Not a problem. Fantastic, great. Thank you very much. Yeah, we should have those in next week. Great, thank you. You'll give me a call next week and let me know. Sure. So a week and a bit goes by. I haven't heard anything, and I'm like, okay, so I'll give them a quick call. Any uh, any news on those gloves? Well, you see, uh, yeah, no, they haven't come in yet. Has no one called you? No. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, Oxford's obviously not got them in yet. Okay. But they will be in next week, so we'll give you a call next week when they're in. Great, okay, great. <laughs> Another week passes. Don't hear a thing. <laughs> call them up. Any news on my gloves? Um, no, they haven't come into Alpine Star yet. What do you mean Alpine Star? You said you were ordering them from Oxford. Oh, no, 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 we're ordering from Alpine Star directly, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they, they should, be, we've got a date for them to be in, so that, and that's next week, so, you know, you, we'll give you a call next week. Okay, great, thanks. Another week and a bit follows. No phone call, of course. I'm learning this now. So, yeah, another phone call back to them. Hi. Have my gloves turned up yet? I haven't had a phone call. Again. I oh, know they haven't come into Oxford yet. Oxford hasn't got... What do you mean Oxford hasn't got them? You said it was Alpine Star. Uh, basically, they went backwards and forwards between who they were coming from. And then eventually, I was just like, look, for, are you actually able to get these gloves or not? Or are you, are you just trying to order them every week and it's just not turning up? Because, you know, it's, it's kind of... It's nearly been two months now. It's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Oh, uh, no, 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 you know. We'll be able to get them. Don't worry. Right, okay, thanks. Wait another week, I get a phone call. Hi, it's j and S. I'm like, yeah! Yeah, they finally come! Hi! Yeah, do you want us to keep trying to order these gloves? What do you mean, do I want you to? I've been waiting for two months, of course I want you to try and get them. I'm like, you, are you saying that you don't think you're going to be able to get them? Is this is what you're saying? Are you saying, look, go elsewhere? And they said... They said, no, 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 we, we can get them. We can get them. But we don't know when. Because, like, we've put them on back order every week. Uh, and they've not turned up. Right. So what you're saying is you can get them, but you haven't been able to get them in the past two months, and you don't know when you can get them, but you can get them. Yeah. No, it's all right, mate. Don't worry about it. Fucking j and S. Seriously. I mean, I don't want to want to bash a company because I know I've from heard from other people each store is different, and I'm not going to say exactly which store it was. But I haven't had the best experience with JNS in the past. You know, when I used to go in Hein Garrick, it's going there, you're right, oh hello, have a chat, they knew you were, nice, friendly, la 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 la. 
And more recently, JNS, the one I've been going to, is a bit more like that. A bit. The first time I went in there, I was like, hi. And then we just went, Ugh. Literally, that's all I got was a, Ugh. As I say, I don't want to bash JNS. I'm sure store by store things uh, can be better, and I'm sure if they could have got them, they could have done. But Jesus Christ, two months, and then exactly what I knew what would happen, which is, well, we don't really think we can get them. And the gutting thing is, I found them on a German online store for like eighty-five pound when I was looking before, and when I last looked, I couldn't find them again. They're becoming difficult to get hold of. Oh. <laughs> Lovely place to park your big shitty rubbish filled lorry. Safe to say that whole episode has kind of killed JNS for me. But the problem is, who else is there on the high street? Because with bike gear, I so often find it's very important to try it all on first, particularly with gloves, helmets, jackets. Not all of it, really, let's face it, because. The sizing isn't the same between companies and models, it seems. And you have to try these things because it's very important, the fit. It's very, very important. And I'm fussy as fuck when it comes to gloves. I like these gloves. These are perfect. They're good, thick, strong leather. They bedded in, you know, to my hands really well. They've got a nice cuff on them and I like having a nice cuff. But I don't like it when the cuff is too big or too small. It has to be just right. And they're perfect. And they meet up with my jacket perfectly. When I was in there, I tried on, um, cause I was looking at jackets as well. Cause as you can see this thing, it is, it's warm. It's in perfectly good sort of structural condition still. It's just warm. And I'm also losing weight at quite a substantially quick rate. So it's starting to get a little bit baggy and stuff, but you know, I tried on um, a blade jacket, which was alright, you know, it was alright. But the cuff was massive on it, and I tried it with some other gloves, and it just didn't match up right, and it's just like... <laughs> this is a Hein Garrick jacket, by the way. Best fitting jacket I've ever bought. Never put one on that's ever, that's ever felt like, even from new, I know you bed into stuff. You know, it doesn't feel right at first, give it time, and then it becomes you. It's your shape, it's excellent. But it just... Oh. Gutted, gutted! Want Iron Garrick back? I want some SP ones. <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to look into other models of glove now. I just didn't want to spend 170 odd quid. I was like, get for the older ones, they'll be great. Because unfortunately, it just seems that the ones that really work for me tend to be like the GP style ones, the, the you know the full cuffed with good protection because. Because I think gloves are massively, massively important. Possibly even more important than a jacket. If you were like, okay, you have to wear two pieces of equipment and nothing else. Helmet, gloves. Yeah, okay, you're going to get really fucking ripped up. But the thing is, if you lose the use of your hands or you get massive scarring on your hands from whacking your hands down into the road, that's life-changing. Covered in road rash, that is life-changing too, but it's not quite the same as your hands. They're very important. Anyway, how have you found JNS? And are you as picky about gloves as I am? Because it's so important that they're right and they've got everything that you want. Anyway, there you go. I'll catch you next time. Well, that sounds good to me.